Now, Australia's lush green rainforests, home to some of the world's oldest plant species, are in trouble. The once powerful carbon sinks, these forests, the first in the world to release more carbon than they absorb. And according to a study looking at data from Queensland forests, has found that extreme temperatures have caused more tree deaths than growth. New trees, the report found that the trunks and branches of the dead trees, known as Uri biomass, have become the carbon emitters rather than carbon absorbers. About 25 years ago, a combination of climate extremes from record-breaking heat to catastrophic fires has weakened the forest's ability to regenerate. Instead of locking the carbon away, decaying trees are now releasing it into the atmosphere. The based on 49 years of data from 20 forests in Queensland, the report has also found a rise in the number of cyclones and the severity of them is killing more trees and making it harder for new ones to grow. The satellite data has confirmed a worrying trend. The parts of the Queensland and New South Wales have flipped from carbon sinks to carbon sources over the past decade. The scientists are racing to understand if this shift is permanent or if the forest can recover with better protection and restoration. The scientists say that urgent action is needed to restore forest resilience and to curb emissions because if Australia's rainforest can no longer breathe for the planet, then the world will feel the suffocation.